<clears throat> All right. Okay, folks. It's another year of Happy Birthday, Jesus, and we have to come up with something really big. Um, anyone, anyone got any ideas? Baka, baka! I, uh, I don't understand what you're trying to say. Baka! Nugget, I, I don't speak chicken. Um, is, is there anyone here that can translate? Who, who, who? Oh, oh, why did we let the birds into the planning committee? Fireworks! <laughs> no, Christmas monster, it's inside. We can't have fireworks. Fireworks go boom! Yes, oh, yes that's why we can't have them inside. <laughs> fireworks taste good! No, don't, don't, don't ah. try to... No, Christmas monster. Ah. Oh, where, ah. where is Geraldo? This is getting ridiculous. Cowabunga! No, 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 over, over that way, over war. No! Wow, this new cape is awesome! Ugh. Ugh. Geraldo, what are you doing? We're trying to plan Happy Birthday Jesus. You should do a Happy Birthday Jesus about superheroes like me. Kids love superheroes! If you could do that, it would be so awesome! <laughs> uh, Geraldo, that doesn't even make sense. How could you tie superheroes into Jesus? It just doesn't work. Well, actually, Walter... What? Wait, uh, who exactly are you? A random puppet scientist. Well, think about it. Jesus was actually the very first superhero. He walked on water. He healed the blind. He created food. He could control the weather. Und, he rose from the dead. Sounds a lot like a superhero to me. <laughs> see? I knew this was going to be a good idea. Well, uh, I can see how Jesus could be a superhero. But we don't know how he got his powers. I mean, every superhero has a story about how they got their powers, and we just don't know what Jesus' story is. Hey guys, maybe the answer is in here! <laughs> oh, ah! Of course, in the Bible. Let me just... Oh, there we go. <clears throat> Let's see here. Uh, words, words, words. Da, 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 da. Oh, there's a number there. Um, Let's see. This one. Walter, are you saying you can't read? Die, um, well, can you read? Yeah, I can read. Geraldo, are you telling me the truth? No. I figured. I can't read. I know. Ah, ha, so the answer might be in there, but none of us can read. Oh, if we could only go back in time. Actually, funny you should mention that, Geraldo, because we do, in fact, have a way to go back in time. You have a way to go back in time? What? What is it? Some kind of silver DeLorean with a flux capacitor? <laughs> ah, that would be ridiculous. Wait, where'd he go? Years ago, I designed a golf cart. You can see here that it has a thread coming out the back. Now here's the plan. We all get in the golf cart. When the lightning strikes the clock tower, it will electrotrize this cable suspended over the nearby road. We drive the golf cart at exactly seven miles per hour, touch the rod to the cable as the lightning travels through it, effectively harnessing the necessary 1.21 gigawatts of power to jumpstart the time circuits and sending us to any time we want. But uh, uh, how exactly will we know where the lightning is going to strike? Hey, I don't have all the answers. <laughs> you just recapped the entire storyline of Back to the Future. <laughs> but back to the what? You know, with Michael J. Fox. Michael J. who? Uh, this, this just isn't going to work. Hey, Doc, do you have any other ideas? Actually, I do. <laughs> 